Previously on Abbas Crossing, the party defeated the Wind Astra, but she warned them that there was someone else pulling the strings behind the Astras. During the sixth pass procedure, Rene learned that the Dark Astra was a victim of slave trading, and now they're out for revenge against the whole world. The party then took on two ruler bosses in preparation for the Dark Astra. Ask about Black Island. We heard we could go to Black Island from this harbor. Do we just have to ask you to take us there? Are you volunteer investigators for Black Island? Wait, aren't you the adventurers from before? How lucky we are. Do you want me to tell you about the request from the Royal Capital since you accepted it? Hear about requests. Every black smoke rose from Black Island. The Royal Capital sent a scouting party, but apparently none of the people came back. It seems like the Royal Capital wants to minimize military damages. So they want talented adventurers to go to Black Island and look into what happened. Because the monsters will appear from the sea, you'll take a route that follows shallow waters along the continent. Just imagine it as a round trip around the continent sandbar. So far so good, right? Actually, four other self-proclaimed adventurers will be joining you. Oh, real? You're okay to work towards your own goals, but discuss and cooperate with them during the voyage. Okay, come talk, talk to me when you're ready. So we actually get to meet them for once. Okay. The other party. Oh, you're ready. Then let's put the part. Now then, we're going to be on this boat for a while. And it seems that they are, they are volunteers. Uh, there are volunteers other than us here. I wonder if they're adventurers like us. Look, look, Alice, there's a seagull flying over there, Nia. Mia, make sure you don't fall into the ocean while trying to catch it, okay? Aren't those guys from the royal capital? Wow, they are. I just realized that the that girl looks like a, a fairy anthrope. Fairy anthropes exist in this world, too? Wait. Hey, you there. Meow Meow, are you talking to us, Nia? Yes, you must not be inhabitants of this world. I don't know what method you used to come here, though. I take it that you also came from another world. Well, yeah, it might be the same world as yours. Hey, girl with the blonde hair, could it be? You're the god of uh, of our world by any chance? Meow Meow, it is her, Nia. Huh, you know about me? We must have been in the same battle a very long time ago, Nia. I'm surprised to see you in a place like this. We were? Hmm, so your acquaintances. And Lauren, don't forget this stuff. You're right, Mia's a fairy anthrope, Nia. But Mia hasn't seen any fairy anthropes in this world yet. What's your reason for coming to this world? To invent new spells. Which is what the original plan was, but now our goal is to subdue Astras. Hmm, then yours is the same as ours. Are you gonna join? Uh, may I say something? Inari. You're the people we met in the royal capital, right? I apologize for Mia's behavior at that time. It's nice to see you again. I'm surprised, you were there as well. Oh good, maybe I can give them some of the uh, some of the uh, ruler drops I picked up. We were told that four other investigators for Black Island would be joining us. I assume that you four are the ones he was talking about. Yeah, the four of us work together. We think that there might be an Astra in the isolated island called Black Island. But aren't you going after the light Astra? Why, why are we going after the same one? Unless they're using this... Unless they're both here. That's why we came here. I see. But why are you looking for Astras of all things to subdue? That's actually due to a certain Astra we were chased out of our village. I sent something abnormal from the Astra. After that, we ran to Mia and Alice while traveling. Currently, the Astras are being influenced by magical elements and losing their sanity. If somebody doesn't defeat them, they won't return back to normal. Wow, you know that much, huh? So, is that why you're traveling around to subdue them? Yes, that's about it. The Astras we subdued so far are the Earth Astra and the Wire Astra. Yep, Nia. The four of us defeated two Astras so far, Nia. You subdued two Astras as well. Hey, Nehan, this, that means we don't have to take care of all the Astras by ourselves. Yes, that does seem to be the case. We already subdued the Fire Astra and Wind Astra. Which means only two Astras remain. Whoa, I wasn't expecting you to be subduing Astras too. Um, I haven't introduced myself yet, right? I'm Inari. I'm from the Mystic Fox Village. I'm, it's southeast of the Royal Capital. My name is Mikoto. I'm Inari's older sister. Nice to meet you. Mia is called Mia Nia. Mia is a fairy and fro. Nice to meet you. I am Alice. I do research on magic. Nice to meet you. Thanks for being so polite. I guess we should introduce ourselves too. I'm Renee. Due to some circumstances, I'm on a journey to subdue Astras. And the woman with the gray hair is... I'm Nehan. Along with Renee, I travel with the objective of subduing Astras. I am Luna. Well, I guess I can tell you. I'm more or less a demon. Nice to meet you. And this blonde blockhead is... 
I'm Lauren the Angel. I'm also a god. Nice to meet you, everyone. An angel and a god, and you're a demon. You people sound kind of amazing. Hey, Nehan, wouldn't it be better if we all work together for this? The Astra's in Black Island, so there's no meaning in us acting separately. What about the Light Astra? Yes, you're exactly right. This is so weird. Why shouldn't they be going after the Light Astra at the same time we go after the Dark One? Like I said before, we're traveling around with the goals of doing Astras, which seems to be the same goal as yours, so how about we work together from now on? What do you want to do, everyone? Me and Alice do seem to be acquaintances of Lauren, and we have the same objective, so I don't see why not. Does that mean the Light Astra is always destined to be fought last compared to everyone else? Mia's in favor too, Nia. Alice, what do you think, Nia? Of course, I do not mind. Then it's decided. We'll cooperate with you. I look forward to working together. Uh, please tell me you have up up-to-date equipment. Same here. It's like we've become a sort of large family. Knowing that they fought with Lauren, they must be reliable combatants. And I can sense our hidden magical powers in that fox pair. Taking them along does not seem like it will cause any problems. With all these people, resolving the abnormalities doesn't sound so hard now. Hey, we're about to reach Black Island. We'll make it so that you can freely use the boat to traverse. Good luck with the investigation. Now then, we're going to reach the land, uh, land any minute now. Having more allies makes it easier to lose focus. Brace yourselves, everyone. Roger that. All right, Black Island. Formation. Members not participating in battle also gain EXP. However, you cannot change the party while in battle. Yes, that's good. That way I don't have to grind everyone individually. Like a lot of other games I've played. Okay, so the enemies here are probably dark type. That means they won't be good or bad against my current weapons. Problem is, I'm gonna have to somehow divvy up all my gear among everyone. Witch Medicine. Exorcism Naginata. Mandrake Roots. Seven fifty G Crescent Moon Scythe Tranquil Ring What? A healing point? That can't be right. Okay, it turns out that blue spirits are uh, pretty much on par with the mini boss green spirits. So they they might actually be worth farming depending on which resistances they give. Yeah, let's go in. Everyone, stop moving! What's wrong? I sense something suspicious. Someone's here! What? You're not the Dark Astra? Is that Reyna? What's with this girl? Is she a survivor? Wait! At the very least, that's not a human. Watch out, everyone! I... Reyna. I... Reyna. What the hell? I can see countless souls. They're awfully distorted. Hmm, you can tell that? Oh, we have to fight you both, don't we? You guys seem to be quite different than the guys from before. You! Oh, hello, mystical fox duo. Why would you guys be in a place like this? Do you know each other? This is the Astra that killed a child and the holy beast from our village. Could be that you were kicked out or something? Ah, but that does make sense, since you are murderers. You! Sister, calm down. You're being provoked. What's this about murders? This guy killed a resident of our village. And then he made it seem like we were the ones who killed him. I'm pretty sure your name is... Mona. This guy's name is Mona. I'm honored. You remember my name. I'm Mona, the Dark Astra. Ah, you're making such mean faces. Don't worry, I know. You must have come here out of your hatred for me. Hatred is a strong feeling. It lacks mercy and is more striking than the others. Hey you, there's something more important here to address. You did something to that woman, didn't you? Oh, looks like I forgot to introduce, to introduce her. This girl is Reyna. She's my cute little sister. Don't lie to me. That can't be true. Well, who cares? I'm going to do you the favor of sending you both to ride in hell. Wow, this young lady is pretty scary. Are you not going to ask about her past? Who do you think you're talking to? 
I'm a demon. You altered a monster with a human. I can tell just by looking at you that you created that monstrosity. What did you just say? You said this girl is your little sister, right? And that her name's Reyna. Uh huh, she's both my cute little sister and my masterpiece. She could even kill you all right here. Isn't that right, Reyna? Kill? Yes, kill. I born to kill. This is bad, Nia. She smells kind of different than the other enemies up until now. This feeling is like the miasma from the monster that appeared in our world, Nia. I see. Could you be the one who sent that monster to our world? I wouldn't do that. The magical elements covering this world's atmosphere were unstable from the start. The world's balance is crumbling. It won't be long until now until it collapses. But dimensional distortions can be caused by many things. Okay. Then what is your aim? Ah, sure, I'll tell you. What I desire is the destruction and reconstruction of this rotten world. That's why Reyna was put together. She'll murder every single human in this world. And then I will remake this world into a righteous one. I knew it. You hate this world, don't you? Duh, don't ask me stupid questions, okay? Reyna is my masterpiece. She should have no problems with destroying you. One, I'm returning to the Moonless Steeple. That's the actual boss dungeon. This is just a mini-boss. Reyna, I'm leaving the rest of you. Murder, yes, I murder. This rotten world, and you all. She's definitely distinct compared to the other monsters. Watch out, everyone. Reyna appeared. Damn, she's stronger... Uh, uh, yeah, f number four is supposed to mean death. She's definitely stronger than the previous than the first two elemental rulers, but weaker than the uh, uh, weaker than the uh, more recent ones. Hmm. Aiming. Dragon Soul. Mana Guard. Light. Gentle Melody. Demon Armor. Okay, and Normal Attack. She's fast! Okay, now we have a st statistical advantage. Aiming self. Attack break. Light. Also light. An attack. Okay, we're doing good so far. Guard break. No, since you're maxed out already on TP, let's go six realms. Light. Saint. And normal attack. Nice crit. Now, and poison. The, the, the world Abyss I peeked into. I will show you it too. Endless Nightmare. Trapped in darkness? Oh no, does that mean I can't see? Asleep? This is bad. Cut in. Light. Here all Endless Nightmare. Wait, what? She's a 
just gonna do that every turn? That's gonna suck. But she's almost dead. Just do I'm sorry, release. Cut in. Light. Sanctuary. Demon release. Attack. We did somehow. That was quite the formidable enemy. We probably would have lost if we played around. That guy went off to some place called the Moonless Steeple, right? That steeple is most likely ahead of us. Seems like that Astra has some strong powers too. But why make a monster that looks like a human? I'm sure that's because... Actually, never mind. We fought a considerable number of monsters before coming here. They're all really strong too. Yeah, Nia, everyone is so reliable, Nia. That Astra thought we would be defeated here. Our strength was underestimated. Yeah, now we just have to defeat that guy. Let's go, everyone. We can't ignore that Astra. Risky Salve obtains... Mo Moonless Steeple unlocked. Okay. I wonder if I should start farming for the blue shards now, or should I just wait until I find a mini boss? Okay, there should be some floor enemies sooner or later. Ultra Potion. St. Claus. Wine Bottle. Night Helm obtained. Probably resists darkness, right? Light Sword obtained. This is a big map. Took a while to load in. Witch Remedy. Moonlight Talisman. Okay, I see the FOEs. This place looks pretty messed up now. But I gotta fight them all if I want to get more power. Killer Eye? Don't tell me it has instant death attacks. Yes, that's one shard down. Just gotta collect the rest. <sighs> it's gonna take four of each. Fairy drop obtained. Holy rod. This chest looks suspicious. It's it's actually one chest. It's not an item thing. Mimic obtained. I knew it. I knew it was a trap. If I had me. Okay, I'm gonna assume you're weak to light. Gentle Melody. Ow, it's really fast. And... It's weak to light. Okay, I think we can finish it off. Yup. Not much stronger than the actual boss, but, hmm, we got a decent item for that. Satellite Cannon? What does that do, exactly? 
Okay, it's a light type gun. Elixir. 750G. Okay, now this should be fo floor four. The heck? Look, does that mean we can fall off? I'm not sure, but I don't see any... I don't see any uh, r floor enemies, so I guess I'll just go back down and farm some more. Ray Grimoire. Perry Mantle. Shaman Robe. Return Feather. That's an ominous sign. Top floor, okay. Got a bad feeling. Yes. We climbed to the top of the steeple. You're here, aren't you? Show yourself. I wasn't expecting you to actually come here. How's Reyna? We clobbered her. Now it's your turn. Hmm, so you're going to continue trying to thwart my ambitions no matter what? Of course, we will never forget what you did to us. It sounds like you're trying to destroy this world, but we will definitely not let that happen. Hmm. Those smoke signals were meant to draw in groups from the royal capital, but now I have some uninvited guests. Must have been a, made a miscalculation somewhere. Unfortunately for you, this is the end. I can't believe you created such a revolting monster to make this world perish. Aren't you getting a little too ahead of yourself? I intend on learning why you did something like that, but nothing will help you now. We'll make this easy for you if you behave. Huh, you're awfully confident. I'm certainly surprised that Reyna was defeated by you. You leave me no choice, I'll be your opponent. And once more, make Reyna from your corpses. We'll be together for eternity. Not like you people can understand that, though. Mona appeared. I know, just inject you all with the power of madness as well. You won't have to think of anything but destroying this world soon enough. Bar Badberry Jam? Oh no, don't tell me everyone's confused. Enraged? Oh, come on. Yeah, this is gonna suck. I forgot what the dark, uh, uh, what the dark, uh, 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 what the, the evil eye one, uh, the killer eye gem is supposed to give me. Okay. Let's just use elemental light. You're the fastest party member, so I should have bought more dispel herbs. Did not affect Mia. Shoot, that's the one person I wanted it to happen to. Because she's the physical attacker in the first place. Just in case, I'm gonna go buff Mia right here. Guard break. Six realm release. Mona's almost as strong as the ruler type enemies. Okay. Gentle Melody to decrease your offense even further. Voltage. Did not affect Mona. Okay, that's quite a bit of dark damage. Light. I may have to start doing some heals. Sanctuary. And... Hmm, do you have any good attacks? Let's just use normal attacks for now to build up that TP. Stunned? Nice. Aren't you quite tenacious? In that case, let me release the deeply submerged desires within your heart. Let's see how long you can endure this darker than darkness violent impulse. I think they're still stunned. Let's 
Saint. And normal attack. And done. Tisk. It's already win. Did you call? Uh, did you call off your head at all? Even with that said, you probably didn't change from the start. I. Yes, I've always been like this. Even with the magical elements releasing from me, nothing will change in the end. You kill a child from our village and a holy beast. That truth will not change regardless of whether or not you were filled with madness. We will have you disappear here to prevent any more people from meeting misfortune. So be it, but my volition will not change either. Even if I disappear, I will be resurrected in Shife again and again. Wait a minute, your name is Mona, right? Your hatred towards humans won't change even now. Exactly, I will never stop hating humans. The royal capital slave system ended after you died. The harm done to you won't occur anymore. Knowing that, will you still kill them? Wait a second, what are you talking about? This Astra most likely used to be a victim of the slave system. I didn't tell you this, but that's the kind of memory I peeked into. I see, a memory is a human. Hmph. <laughs> Even if I know that. The people you hold a grudge against disappeared a very long time ago. Which means the other humans should not matter to you. Are you going to make them victims of your vengeance? You must be calmer now. I want you to really think about this before answering. You're right. But the flames of hatred burning in my heart will not be extinguished. Reina will never return. My hatred for everything will never change. This is not something that can be explained with reason. And I guess nothing will change. To me, it sounds like you're admitting to being the aggressor yourself. I see. Okay, how about this? Our objective is to release the magical elements in Astros and stabilize the world. We can't overlook someone like you who seeks to contribute to the abnormalities. So we will have you temporarily disappear here. We will not support your vengeance, nor tolerate it. However, we promise to not overlook any harm similar to the one you experienced. This contract will let your souls fading and rebirth justly resolve, uh, revolve around the world. I see. Making this astro disappear is meaningless unless we change that volition. I mean, the only thing I can think of saying is, where are, you, uh, where are you to this world? I doubt you have any significant reasons for doing this. Don't, don't think you stand for justice. Is there any meaning in protecting this world? Hey, this is becoming quite bothersome thanks to you all. Honestly, let's just make this guy behave and move on with our lives. Luna, you're really frank. But yeah, I'm okay with this contract Nehan is talking about. I'm okay with being a part of it as well. That way this Astro won't go out of hand. Mia will join in too, Nia. Mikoto and Nari, what do you think, Nia? Hmm. We can't forgive this Astra. But I understand the situation. I'm okay with this contract. Yeah, me too. It's fine with me. Now then. This contract is ready to be signed. The rest of it depends on your feelings. Fine. But I will never forgive you guys if you go against this contract. I will have you adequately prepare yourself so that time comes. Fine with me, the contract has been signed. Okay, I'll start with the Vanishing Ritual. Hear me, varying six souls. Once again, return back to one and crush the evil before our very eyes. Another Astra has returned to the Earth. Hopefully this one won't, won't cause any ruckus. That was rough. We even signed a contract that doesn't let us ignore any wrongdoings. Oh boy, that's gonna result in a lot of side quests. Yeah, but there's no such thing as perfect. It's not like everything will become good after we make them all disappear. Their suppressed consciousness will absolutely distort and bring harm one day. Rene, you should remember this kind of exchange too. Well, I'm certainly in agreement. Now that that's all, shall we return to the Royal Capital and report back? What happened here may be very painful for people in the Royal Capital to hear. I prefer not to be direct about this. Yeah, the monsters everywhere are getting more active. Let's say that a large swarm of monsters were rampaging on this island. Roger that. Nehan, Lauren, Luna, and I are going to work together still. What do you plan on doing from now on? There's still one more Astro remaining. I don't mind if you want to team up. Hmm, everyone, what should we do? I'm okay with working with these people. Just don't take my stuff. Alice and Mia, how about you? Mia is all for it, Nia. Yeah, we already signed a contract, so it would be better if we worked together. That's the spirit, Alice. I hope we and the four of you get along with each other. With this, we're one step closer to the end. Okay, let's head back to the Royal Capital. Good work, everyone. I gotta climb all the way back up in order to fight the super boss version, or should I save that for later? Sun Tower was built in ancient times. In the ancient rebellion, people built this tower in hopes of being blessed with divine revelation. However, the divine revelation they desired was nowhere to be seen. As the rebellion compensated with bloodshed, the people's prayers were completely forgotten. It is considered to be the place closest to the gods. But nowadays, no one steps foot in that monster-infested tower. Chapter 5, Revelation and Sun Now 
Now then, we return to the royal capital. Just one actual remains. Yeah, since it seems that the two of them have already been taken out. The next one will be the last. But these abnormalities won't end just by defeating these Astros, right? There's still the evil omen Sulfi the Wind Astro was talking about. Yup. Even if we subdue the Astro, there's no sign that magical elements will stabilize. Evil omen? What does that mean? Do you not hear a similar warning from your Astros? An Astro in Karen saw an evil omen star in the northwestern night sky. She talked about how that star is gradually growing in power. It sounded like a roundabout way of indicating the source of the abnormalities. Meow meow? I see. The instability in the atmosphere will not be resolved just by defeating the Astras. After all, the Astras are just interfering with the magical elements. Which means we must shut down the main cause. I'm surprised, I didn't know about that. But how are we supposed to do that? For the time being, let's defeat the Astra and re release the converged magical elements. Looking into the abnormality source can come afterwards. Okay, how do we go about investigating the last Astra's whereabouts? We came here to perform a certain ritual, so that we can search for it. That will allow us to find out the last Astra's whereabouts. You can do that? But how? We can talk about this after we get back to the base. How did the others... Uh, how did the other four find Astros before? It's better to explain things there. Shall we return for now? So this is your base. What a splendid base. You can find out the Astros' location from here. Yes, we've been detecting Astros from across the lands here in this base. We make use of a ritual called the Six Paths. Rene, can I trust you to explain the ritual to them too? Okay, okay. Let's see. First of all, I'm in charge of the ritual. There's no need for everyone to do it, so you can just watch me. For how I do it, I deeply meditate and expand my consciousness to the outer world, and then locate a place where magical elements oddly flow in the atmosphere. That place is the Astra's whereabouts. That's about it. Meow meow, you can detect Astra's that way, Nia? I see. And the magical orbs placed around this room seem to enhance one's senses. So that's why you need to perform this ritual at your base. Exactly. We've been pinpointing the whereabouts of Astra's with this technique. No need to worry, we have a good track record. You're all free to use this base however you like. Okay, shall we get started? Yes, Renee, I'm counting on you. Roger that, I'm about to concentrate a bit, so keep it down, okay? Here I go. I'm assuming this is a tower. I can see the sky, and this seems to be somewhere very high up. You finally came. I've been waiting a long time, but thanks to that. You have almost reached the heights, my lady desires. That This girl, this, there doesn't seem to be anyone around her. But it's like she's talking to someone. Wait, is she talking to you directly? Where are you on about? You here, aren't you? Could she have noticed my presence and is talking to me? That's right, I've been observing your, your journey from this place. The subjugation of Astra's. I must be the only one left. Huh. I've never been noticed while using the six paths. Now then, let's get to the topic at hand. I have something that I must convey to ye. The world is gradually facing destruction. Eventually, monsters will reign uh, the land, leaving people of no means to stop it. That is none other than my god's intention. Your god? A world of chaos that comes after order. Ye who opposes chaos, demonstrate to me uh, ye strength. I shall be weighing upon Sun Tower. If you face off a whip and defeat me, I shall tell you the truth regarding my god's will. It's over. Can you pinpoint the Astro's whereabouts? Yes, this, this Astro seems to be in a place called Sun Tower. Sun Tower, huh? The tower's name is awfully extreme. Sun Tower should be in the southwest continent. If we know that much, then all we have to do is go there and knock it down. Yes, you're right, but this Astra knows the six paths. What? She said something about a god, but I don't quite get the gist of it. Also, her actions seem to have been observed. About a god? I'm curious about what she was talking about. Hmm. Sounds like the last Astra won't be like the rest. What an amazing ritual. I think you can find out an Astra's location with that. We can't do something like that. Yeah, that seems a bit different than our supernatural powers. Certainly, that magic is considerably marvelous. Looks like this world's magic may be worth investigating more thoroughly. Uh huh, this is too complicated for Mia to get, Nia. At any rate, fighting this Astro is probably inevitable, too. The way she spoke may sound like she wants to test her powers. Just like with the Wind Astra. I am interested in what she has to say. Anyway, we're heading to the Sun Tower from the Southwest Continent. Roger that, then. 
Well then, let us go. Farming Village, a new area. Speaking of gods, you must be unacquainted with this world's religions. In the true world right now, it is believed that two gods exist. One controls order and creation, while the other controls destruction and chaos. We'll also leave this conversation for later, because it's a long story. Feels like we should have been reading up on that a long time ago. <clears throat> Sun Tower, huh? I don't know I don't know it, but I bet it's very tall. I'm interested in her god, since I'm more or less an angel and a goddess myself. What could the god of this world possibly be thinking? Playing that out is very important to me. We're finally subduing the last Astra. I can't wait to put my skills to good use. You'll probably question why you're fighting in the upcoming battles, but... Here's something to keep in mind about fighting so you don't waver. You can think about it after you win. That's it in the end. There are no needs, meanings, nor reasons. Just prepare to risk your life in battle. Take it from someone who fights with you as an ally. Just keep up the good work. Having a base in the royal capital sounds convenient. I don't know the books here. Since I'm from a small village in the southeast outskirts, I'm a little jealous. The Astros we defeated were just insane because of their own hardships. I'm sure they would have been normal spirits if it weren't for the abnormalities. So I'm all set to put a stop to the cause of the abnormalities once and for all. My name is Alice Flawless. You can just call me Alice. Elemental magic is my forte. Call my name whenever you need my magic, okay? Mia is Mia, a fairy and frope Nia. Mia loves racing and moving around Nia. Mia's confident that Mia won't lose when it comes to speed. Let's all run together, Nia. So what's this farming village all about? We'll arrive at the southwest continent if we cross this village's bridge. But since we're already here, talking to the villagers might be nice. I wonder if it, any beneficial information even circulates in a place like this. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. Shall we have a look around along the way? What the? Non-standard items. It buffs, uh, it buffs you and heals stats at the same time. You can enter the southwest continent by crossing this village's bridge. Usually only merchants come here, so it's rare to see travelers like yourself. Creation God Zero is the creator of this world and is said to have beautiful white hair. As of now, she's said to have the form of a little girl. I love to pay my respects while I'm still alive. What about the other... Uh, the God of Chaos? I wasn't expecting to have visitors in a remote village such as, such as this one. Are you adventurers? Hello, well, we're something like that. I guess even this village has a church. Hmm, looks like it's being very well cared for. This church was made to worship Creation God Zero. Creation God. I don't really know much about this world and its religions. But Nahan, aren't you well informed about this stuff? Well, to some degree. Two gods who are believed to exist in the true world currently. One is the god Creation and Order. Her name is Zero. Creation and Order is represented by the color of origins. In other, in other words, the word originates from white. You're exactly right. Zero is named after the color of the beginnings. Hmm, but it's not certain that there, there really are gods, right? But what about the Chaos God? The gods are present at the, in this world, and various legends prove her existence. And there is one other god besides Lady Zero. Another god. The other one is the god of destruction and chaos, and is called Kuro. Creation and order. Destruction and chaos. They mutually and repeatedly influence this world while reigning over all beings. Zero's sect is known as the White Faith, and Crow's sect is known as the Black Faith. Most people believe in the White Faith. This village must be no exception. Hmm, I see. You must have come here by Lady Zero's guidance as well. From what I can see, you seem to be on a journey. We have some business with the Sun Tower in the Southwest Continent. Oh dear. Monsters are very active around there. The Salt Terror Kingdom is in the Southwest Continent too. You should get weapons there in preparation. Be careful along the way. May the gods bless you with divine protection. Another town. S Saltair Kingdom, huh? Sh shall we pay a visit before heading off to the tower? I've never been there, but apparently it's a very lively nation. Stopping by might not be a bad idea. Roger that. Let's go then, shall we? So 
So they really do have better weapons. Salter equipment. It's actually... Sh wait, really? Hmm. Damn, it's re really expensive. I need to sell old stuff. There's a lot of places to go, huh? Castle Gate. Everyone trees prohibited past this point. Guild. Guild member. There are confirmed signs of a huge monster in the coal mines of Alec Mountains to the west. Currently entering the coal mines is prohibited. News about it circulated to this guild too, but it's said that the target is a mutated golem. Please report back if you happen to subdue it. The orange wastelands are in the north side of this continent. There are lots of strong monsters living there, so it will make for a fine place to train. As adventurers, you probably know this already, but make sure you don't rent uh, return feathers. Some people are reluctant to use items frequently, but I think using them whenever is perfectly fine. Hmm. I keep hearing about monsters everywhere I go lately. Like, they're getting more active all around the world. And it sounds like the monsters are multiplying. Apparently there's a lot of mutated ones now. The Saltar Kingdom has a developing mining industry, so the shops here sell very high quality weapons. You're adventurers, aren't you? You should go take a look if you haven't yet. Are you asking me about the Sun Tower? Sun Tower is in the northern areas, but man, I've never met someone who needs something from that place. Monsters appear in the wastelands near there, and the tower has been a monster's den since forever ago. So the Sun Tower is in the northern edges of this continent, and now it's being used by monsters. I bet that's why no one stops there anymore. The Astro said, it said it's waiting for us in the Sun Tower. Now we know where we need to go. Shall we get prepared for battle? Angel Tear. Orange Sand. Witch Remedy. Pea Foul Feather. Massive Log. Enter. Grand Golem. 4K. I don't know what element it is. Is it darkness? Because we're in the light area. Protect. No, it's not darkness. Damn it, more things are resisting that melody. It's not dark, then... Uh, if it, maybe it's some kind of earth type, so I should maybe use wind? Yeah, let's go with that. I'm gonna use sexy pose. You just... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it'll actually work. It'd be funny if it did, but... They'll probably snap out of it once I hit them. Okay, that worked. The sexy pose actually did decent damage, but I don't want to waste too much TP. Magic load level microscopic. Next action, destruction output cannon. So I should... Uh, I should probably guard... Bitter blow. Okay. Now's our chance to counter. Okay, Spiral Edge. Wind. Sanctuary. Normal attack.
Over 10k. So he's just gonna alternate between that. Oh no. Maybe I can just kill him before he acts. Let's go for it. There we go. No need to face tank that super strong charged up cannon. Golem Guard. Probably a really strong defensive one. Golem Armor. Alec Mountain. Supposedly there's a strong boss here, and maybe I can report it to the guild. A thousand G. Electric whip obtained. Repair kit. Wow, it's a kind of a mine shaft, huh? Alec Choss is obtained. Magic mirror obtained. Alec armor. Alec shield. Hound Bone. Gold Nugget. Go. Silver Golem appeared. Violent Rumble. For several turns, Rene and the Earths will have rocks poured down on them. Okay, if you're an Earth-type, hopefully uh, I can u just use Wind to defeat you easily. Elemental Wind. Reflection. On you. Two. Error. Yes! Wait. Didn't do much. I'm not equipped to any elemental weapon, am I? The rocks are physical. They don't get reflected. Six realms release. Guard break. Elemental wind. Sanctuary. Error. Did you already cast that? Okay. Aiming self. Spiral edge. Actually, first thing, I'm sorry, release. Spiral edge. Wind. Saint. Hmm. Diligent Aria. Okay, it's an instant one, so I can just use air right away. We're almost there. Aim. 
And done. Golem core obtained. I see, it's a proof we can present to the guild. Elemental obtained. Some kind of elemental resistance type armor. Yup. Hand over golem core. Seems like you subdued the monster in Alec Mountains. I appreciate your cooperation. Here's a reward. Please accept it. 5,000 G. I hope we can count you again when another request comes in. Alright, there's the ruler. Pretty five. Dark ruler. Holy shit, that's 100k. Wait, we didn't see any pop-up about their special ability. That's weird. Okay, reflect on self. Demon armor deployment. Attack. It's quite strong. Not good. Guard break. Light. I need sanctuary. This is gonna. Cause this, 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 they already start off with a lot of turns to begin with. That's really why they don't have a special ability. They don't need one. They're already that too, uh, too powerful. Endless Nightmare! Oh crap, here's a special ability. Seriously bad. Normal attack. Six realms. Light. <sighs> Reflection costs a lot to apply, though. Poison. Nice reflect. What? Instant death? Are you serious? No, that's not cool. How am I supposed to- I don't have any way to protect against instant death moves. Endless Nightmare, oh no. Asleep! I have to cure all everyone.
Even with regen, this is gonna be bad. Spiral Edge. Light. Oh my, I'm running out of TP for her. Angel Heal. Oh my, she does that at every freaking hit point threshold. That is extremely bad. No! There's way too many status effects to deal with in this battle, huh? Break. Light. Angel heal. Demon release. Okay, we barely won that one. I was cutting it real close. Evil God Naginata. Okay, I was hoping we could get two weapons because there's only there should only be six Astros, but there's eight characters, so that means two people don't get their ultimate weapons. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Abyss Crossing. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.